Senator Clinton is claiming basically the entire eight years of the Clinton presidency as her own, except for the stuff that didn't work out, <laughs> in which case she says she has nothing to do with it. She makes herself sound like she has diplomatic experience, like she has managerial experience, as, she, as if she has policy development experience. She doesn't have any of those things. She does not answer questions uh, straight out. I did not say that it should be done. You said, you said yes. No. You thought it made sense to do it. No, I didn't, Chris, but the point is, what are we going to do with all these illegal immigrants? Unless I missed something, Senator Clinton said two different things in the course of about two minutes. She's driven by the power. She's driven to get the power. That is the driving force in her life. She is steeped in controversy, steeped in sleaze. That's why they don't want us to look at her record. Well, I think it's worth remembering, uh, after her health care fiasco, the Clinton team put us aside. I mean, certainly you have to ask whether or not she's learned a lot from that experience. It was a failure. She knows it was a failure. It was a very embarrassing failure for her. She's a person who's struggling herself with figuring out who she is, or more importantly, how she wants to present herself to the American public. She's deceitful. She'll make up any story, lie about anything, as long as it serves her purpose of the moment. And uh, the American people are going to catch on to it. I can't think of any other politician in history who has shown such a disrespect and a contempt for the Constitution and the rule of law as Hillary. And, and I represented Richard Nixon's best friend, and uh, I knew Richard Nixon. And I'll tell you something, she's no Richard Nixon, she's worse. <laughs> Ruthless, vindictive, venal, sneaky, ideological, intolerant, Liar is a good one. It scares the hell out of me. I am sick and tired of people who say that if you debate and you disagree with this administration, somehow you're not patriotic. And we should stand up and say we 